Hi Virgo, welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, a couple things here before we start your reading. This is where do we stand. This is going to be about somebody here that you know, that you have some history with. Um, new love can pop up, but probably very rare in this reading. So um, with that, everything else you need to know is in the description box. There will be an extended reading link below. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. Two new links below as well. Uh, one is for my tarot card shop. Uh, you can shop tarot cards and oracles and also if you'd like a personal reading there is a link below for spiritual advisors uh, I have some great uh, spiritual advisors who are available to do uh, personal readings uh, on my website I'm not doing personal readings at this time but I hope to open up some soon so I will keep you posted so with that let's pull your cards here Virgo uh, we're gonna pull your energy the mutual energy and then we are going to uh, pull your person's energy actually we're going to pull your person's energy first all right okay hmm. well, i feel like your person is thinking about you definitely thinking about you Okay. Oh, wow. Some of you have been de you're dealing with a twin flame here, too. All right. All right. So in your energy, uh, Virgo, we have the unknown card, Pisces, Cancerian energy, Ten of Wands. We have the Nine of Swords, and we have the Seven of Pentacles. Some of you may have Pisces or Cancerian in your chart. I feel like you're struggling right now with the unknown, okay? Not knowing where things are at with you and this person is really what I'm picking up here. You got the Seven of Pentacles here, so I do feel like, right, that could be what you're struggling with. Uh, but also feel like you're, you're, you're trying to evaluate the situation. Some of you just may be feeling like exhausted about it, right? Thinking about it a lot. And um, some of you, I feel like, are at the point where you're just tired of either waiting for something to happen in this situation, or some of you are just, you know, tired of the situation, okay? So I feel like with this Ten of Wands here, something's going to happen soon where that energy is going to be released, that burden's going to be released, okay? Um, you have here in your person's energy, we have, um, actually, let's go to the mutual energy first. You have the eight of wands here. You have the five of swords. You have the nine of swords and you have the four of wands. So what I'm going to say with that five of swords, um, somebody here may be feeling betrayed, right? If something happened, um, I'm going to say, right, somebody may be feeling like the other person did not have good intentions uh, or maybe not being honest. It could be you, Virgo, here, right, maybe feeling like this person hasn't been honest with you, right, maybe they've been avoiding uh, communication. I get that energy as well. Um, but I do feel like this person is coming towards you. You got the Knight of Swords and you had the Four of Wands. Some of you are dealing with a, uh, a twin flame. You could be dealing with somebody here, uh, I'm going to say, who could be a runner, right? This could be somebody who runs uh, from relationships, right? Runs from commitment. Um, it doesn't mean that they don't have feelings for you because what I'm seeing here is they do. And I do feel like um, they do see you as somebody they can be in a relationship with is what I see here. But you got somebody here. You got the emperor here. Uh, could be dealing with an Aries. I feel like you're dealing with someone here who... I'm going to say for a small percentage of you. Small percentage or, you know, maybe it's only one of you out there. I don't know. But... You could be dealing with someone who's married here, okay, this emperor. But for most of you, this is just somebody I feel here who um, they could have certain beliefs around commitment uh, or relationships or how they work. Um, somebody too who can be a bit rigid or very structured energy. 
Um, and so, um, but, I, you know, I also see the emperor as someone, you know, they want it their way, okay? They have a certain way of doing things, and they want it their way. But I feel here you got the Ten of Cups. This is your person's energy, Four of Cups. You have the Hermit, and you have the Queen of Wands. This is someone who's very much attracted to you. I feel like they enjoy your company. Um, I definitely get a very passionate energy when the two of you are together. But you have the Four of Cups here, and you have the Hermit. And I feel like when it comes to relationship here or commitment here, they're just hesitant. They're not sure. And I'm going to say, I feel like for some of you, this could be someone who's married and others, I feel, if that's not your story, this is someone who has options, okay? This is someone who has options. But I see them really thinking about you, Virgo, because you're showing up in their energy here with the hermit. And I'm going to say here too, this could be somebody who spends a lot of time alone, somebody who uh, may work a lot. They could even own their own business or they could be in some sort of high uh, level executive uh, position. But we're going to clarify some of these cards um, because I do feel like this person is, there is, uh, this person is coming towards you but they're hesitant here okay so if you're wanting a commitment or relationship from this person if you haven't heard from this person or this person's been a little bit distant that is why because they're feeling unsure here okay so look at that yeah so i feel like for some of you this person could be avoiding communication at the moment or like up until now right in the extended we'll see where things go over the next few weeks but i feel like there's an energy here of communication so let's see here um there may be something too they're avoiding right and i'm going to say for some of you i get um that there could have been a break between you and this person and it's been a, a good length of time and because of that now it's gotten to the point where they kind of just don't know what to say. So they could be avoiding communication. So I'm going to clarify um, the Ten of Wands here, which is in your energy. Why is the Ten of Wands here? It just may be feeling right, that burden. Yeah, look at that. I don't even have to pull any more cards. You have uh, the Four of Cups, and the Four of Cups is in your person's energy. So that is showing me here, right, lack of communication, Right, feeling like this person is maybe being stubborn or not accepting your offer. And also it can be that energy, this four of cups here, of feeling like this person has not been appreciative, right, with you. Okay. Let's see that why the nine of swords is here. What's on your mind? Why is the nine of swords here, please? Okay, we have the nine of pentacles. Yeah. I feel it's an energy here, right, of, um, I almost get like, um, uh, you know, an energy of being single or feeling alone, right, or not feel like this person is offering anything, and then look here, you got the five of swords and the two of wands on the bottom of the deck, so again, telling me that maybe you feel like this person is avoiding you, okay, and, um, right, maybe feeling... I'm just going to say it is not the case at all, but you just may be feeling like this person is not attracted, um, but that is not the case at all because it shows me here this person is very attracted to you, very much so attracted to you. Let's see why the Seven of Pentacles is here. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Okay, King of Cups, all right. So I feel like you are invested emotionally with this person, and, and I'm hearing too, that's probably why you've stuck around. Um, let's clarify that Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Six of Cups. All right. Yeah, I feel like this. you feel that this person is avoiding, uh, you know, conversation here and avoiding right uh the strong connection that they feel with you right like i said i felt i feel a runner energy from this person let's see why the eight of wands is here please why is the eight of wands here three of wands yeah they're coming towards you 
right? That's that energy your ship's coming in. Now I'm gonna say, uh, I think we have all the energies on the board. Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, yeah, we have all the energies here, but strong energies of Cancer, Virgo, Pisces. Let's see why this Knight of Swords is here. Why is the Knight of Swords here? The Tower. Yep, they're coming towards you, right? They're coming towards you when you least expect it. I'm also going to say this: uh, the Three of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. So some of you, this is somebody who may have actually betrayed you in some sort of way or they broke your heart. Okay, because they ran from this connection. Let's clarify why the Four of Wands is here, please. We're going to see, we're going to clarify your person's energy too, and then we'll pull some more cards. Why is the Four of Wands here, please? The World card. Yeah, look at that. Nine of Cups. So they have left for you. Some of you, there could be actually some travel distance. We also have strong Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo. This person, you know, I'm going to say here the other energy that I feel here, um, Virgo, is that this is, this is somebody who knows that their life could be changed forever by you, meaning this could change their life where you could be the one, you could be the one that they move in with or marry or have children with. Okay, it's going to be, take it how it resonates. But this is someone I feel here, um, they're coming towards you to change um, the situation is really what I see here, okay? There's still love there. There's still interest there. No matter what happened here in your situation, whether, because uh, I feel for some of you, this is someone who's distant. Uh, some of you, this is somebody who is, uh, you may have found out that they were married. And for some of you, I feel like this is someone who there was actually a breakup here. Okay. So they know that you could be the one to change their life forever. And I feel like they ran, they ran from, from it. But I see you, uh, communication coming towards you. I see them thinking about the future, the possibilities, possibly here, commitment here with this four of wands. So let's clarify their energy. Let's uh, see why the, the uh, queen of wands is here. Look at that. Yeah. Eight of wands. They can't stay away from you. So they're very attracted to you. I see them coming towards you. Some of you, this could be somebody who is traveling. Why is the Ten of Cups here, please? Why is the Ten of Cups here, please? Okay. All right. They're worried. They're worried a little bit here. Oh, look at that. Three of Swords on the bottom of a deck. So they're worried about... Um, right? This three of swords energy. So some of you, right? If there was a breakup or there was something hurtful here that happened in the situation, some of you, it could just be this person is afraid of, of getting hurt as well, right? If they're a runner, why is the, uh, we're going to start with the hermit. Why is the hermit card here, please? Yeah. Look at that. They're thinking about you and they're thinking about the long, term uh, potential here in the situation right like I said I feel like they they feel that you are the real deal here why is the four of cups here please why is the four of cups here please seven of pentacles yeah look at that they know they they know what you want They've been avoiding, I feel here, right, communicating um, because I feel like they're thinking about you. They're thinking about the future. I feel like they know what you want. And I feel like, right, they're unsure. They're a little bit hesitant here. But this is, so if there's been some separation, I feel like the time has been good because this person has had some time to really think about the future and what that could look like with you, okay? Because this is someone who, um, they definitely have feelings for you. There's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of passion here with you. But I feel like they are trying to really reflect on this. Um, and I feel like um, 
They ran in the past, right? That's what they're worried about. Because they, they have to face you, right? After somebody runs or has been distant, they have to face you. And that's what they're worried about. Let's see what the energy also shows here. And then we'll take it to the extended. Okay, so we have the Magician. We have the Ace of Swords. Look at that. The Two of Cups. Yeah. So you got somebody here and you got the Page of Swords. So they've probably been spying on you, right? Really curious about what you're up to. But I see that this person's going to come around here. You got the Magician and the Ace of Swords. So you're manifesting, right? Um communication it's also telling me that this person is going to take action because there is mutual love here right and i feel with this three of swords they're feeling the loss without you right so it gets to that point uh, where they have to do something all right now it could be that you take the necessary action right to reach out to this person but uh, the energy that I'm seeing here, I feel like you're dealing with someone who ran from this connection. Now, if you ran from the connection, right, then it would be the reverse. So, Virgo, I'm going to take this to the extended. We're going to see how it plays out. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.